hello my YouTube fam. I am here to call some of you out today for a very good reason. So if you are somebody who is using a third party website to host a link tree type page in their link in bio for Instagram, this video is specifically for you. If you're new around here, my name's Amanda and I'm the owner and founder of The Launch Hive Creative and we are a branding and website design studio that work with bold and badass business owners who aren't afraid to break the mold and go against industry standards. If that is you, you are in the right spot, my friend. Stick around, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more videos much like this one that's going to help you build and grow your business. I want to tell you why you should not be using a third party type service for these types of pages for your link in bio because these third parties are taking away the potential traffic that you could be getting from your website and those analytics that you could be gathering from your website because when you're using these third parties, it's directing them to their website and not your own. If you have Squarespace, you can create one of these pages within your very own website and it's going to act the same way as a link tree or a link in bio page would, but you are now sending all of those visitors, all that traffic to your very own website, which then is going to potentially prompt people to browse, look around, learn more about you, more about your services. So you can see why using a third party for these types of pages is not something that you should be doing. We can create one of these within your very own website and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it step by step. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you log into the back end of your Squarespace account is go to the pages link here on your dashboard and you're gonna create a brand new page and you want to create this page under the not linked section. And the reason why you wanna put this under not linked is because we do not want our other visitors to be able to access this page because we are creating this page specifically for our Instagram people. So we just don't want one of our regular visitors to be able to get to that page because that page just won't make sense to them. So what you're going to do is hit this plus sign here and add a blank page. And you're going to relabel this page, whatever you want, whether that be link in bio, Instagram, I'm going to label it link in bio. And then one other thing that you're going to want to do is hit this wheel toggle here and you're going to go to SEO. And what you're going to do is scroll down and you are going to toggle that on because we also want to hide this page from Google and from any search results because again, we don't want any anybody to be able to access this page. Another thing here, you can update your URL slug to be whatever it is that you want it to be. I'm going to make mine Instagram and I'm going to hit save. So from here, we are going to hit edit and we're going to add a section. So the amazing thing with Squarespace is that they have a ton of pre-designed sections for you to choose from. So you can go through any of these and choose one that is best suited for you. I am going to add a blank section. So you can also go this route and kind of build it out on your own and make it look however you want. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna update my colors here because I know I want these colors. And I'm going to add an image. I wanna add an image on mine. You don't have to add an image on yours. Again, you can make this as simple as you want. I already have my pictures picked out and something else that I already have is the links that I want to include in this page. I already have them in my notes so all i'm going to have to do is copy and paste so that is something that i would suggest that you do beforehand just so that you have everything ready to go so i'm going to format this how i want it i'm going to add some text hey insta fam again this can say whatever it is that you would like and i'm using 
the Fluid Engine. So your, if you're not using Squarespace's new Fluid Engine, this might look a little bit different, but I would highly suggest using it because it is actually pretty amazing. So like I said, I have all my stuff already pre-created here. So once you have your image, you have your text in here, you are now going to add your links. And in order to do that, we are going to add a button. And you're going to go to add block and go to button. And obviously you're going to add as many buttons as you would need for the amount of links that you have. Once you add your button, you'll hit the pencil or double click and you can update, update this text to say whatever it is that you would like to say. For me, I'm going to do work with me and then I already have my links here. Perfect. Now I'm going to add another button and I want to direct people to my YouTube channel. Again, we want to think about this strategically as well. Like what are people going to get the most out of? Like what can we offer them? Where do we want them to go that is potentially going to maybe funnel them into something else of ours? I'm going to do blog and I don't want like too many because I don't want it to be overwhelming. So my last one I'm going to do is visit the full site. So once you have all of your buttons ready here, you can again kind of format this. I'm honestly going to keep mine super simple. So that's about all that I'm going to do here. So now what I can go ahead and do is hit save. You want to make sure that you also edit this on your mobile version here to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to. So something, a quick little tip for you, you can click in order to move multiple things at one time. Go ahead and click on this. You see that it's kind of highlighted. Hit shift and go ahead and click the rest of your buttons and just drag it down as much as you need that to go. I'm going to drag this down a little bit more. And the reason I'm doing this is because my picture is not formatted the way that I would like. So in order for me to format that correctly, kind of need to move some things around. Save. And the amazing thing with Squarespace's new Fluid Engine is that formatting your mobile version no longer messes with the desktop version, which is literally phenomenal. So now I have my link in bio page, my link tree page created within my very own Squarespace website. Now, the last thing for me to do is to take that link and put it in my link in bio. That is it for today's video, you guys. If you have any questions, make sure that you drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so because we will be serving up tons of more content just like this to help you build and grow your brand. See you guys later.